hot. Perfect for melting this solid block of ice with my favorite Hot Wheels car frozen inside. Huh? Don't ask. The sun will add energy to this to turn this ice into water and then into steam. Solid, liquid, gas. Today on Hot Wheels Labs, the three states of matter. This may take a little longer than I thought. That's a lot of solid to transform into a liquid. How does it do it? Let's head into the lab and find out. You guys start stacking those Hot Wheels cars for me. Yes, sir. Yes. Pack them tight. Stack them on top of each other. Nice. Almost everything in the world exists in one of three forms. Solid, liquid, and, and gas. <laughs> or air. But they can change into another form. Like ice melting into water. Yes. The molecules, the tiny particles that make up matter, can be organized in a different way. Let's start with a solid, a stack of cars. Now when the molecules, or in this case the cars, are packed in tight, it's heavy, organized. You can pack a lot into a small space, but not much room to move around. A solid. But if you add energy, go ahead and put your cars in here. Then the molecules will need to move around. Let's add some energy. When the molecules move more, they lose their organization and shape. That's why a liquid will take the shape of whatever container it's in. And if you add even more energy, the molecules move farther apart and become a gas. Because there's so much space between molecules, a gas fits into any container you put it in. Hot wheels, cool car. Today, a Hot Wheels Labs mini episode. States of matter, liquid to solid. Adding or subtracting energy is only one way of changing the state of matter. Pressure and chemistry can also do it. I can show you with the Hot Wheels Fusion Factory. It changes a liquid into a solid using a chemical reaction. This contains two chemicals. When I insert it and the car mold into the Fusion Factory, I can pump it into the car mold like this. When I do that, the two chemicals mix, the molecules latching onto each other in a chemical bond that turns liquid into solid. Now, we wait for the chemicals to combine. Time's up. Now, we see what we've got. Take it out of the fusion factory. And we have a solid. Pretty cool.